Hello and welcome to my first, first um, RPG Maker 2003 tutorial. Well, this will be really brief because I only made this for a friend that needed it. So this is gonna just simply tell you how to do quests. So yeah, first I'm gonna do a ground, just a random ground. Okay. So, wait. I'm just gonna put that map smaller so that we can see the whole of it. So, what I'm gonna do first is create a guy. Okay, I'm just gonna make him that dude. Okay. Okay, then I'm just gonna do a random conversation. Hello, get potions for me from that chest. Okay, that just normal but you can elaborate this conversation you should know how to if you're watching this okay then what we do is once he said that you have to do two things first in events variable operations so your single variable you're gonna change that in the clicking the three dots and just give it a name like get chest okay Okay, that's first thing. Oh, wait. So, and you have to set equal to one. Like you change number. I'm just putting one. Okay, and also switch. And that would be well, like quest got. Okay, turn on. Then new page. That's gonna be what he says when you didn't finish the quest. So switch here, precondition switch. Quest got is on. Yes, good. And he's gonna say mm, get the push. Okay. And that new page finally will be for once you finished the quest. Okay. Apply. Then I'm gonna make a new event. The chest is gonna be there. Okay, event graphic. Just look for chest. Okay, that's right. And then once you come on it first time, it said, let's say it will say, you need the quest to open this chest. Okay, just say that. And um, okay, the new page precondition switch quest got is on. Okay, so quest got what would happen is you got the portion. Okay, then uh, item management add item portion. Okay, and also. Uh, switch operations quest finished turn on and switch operations quest got turn off okay what that basically does is once you got the potions that guy won't say get the potions please anymore because you got quest got off but we'll say something else because you got quest finished okay, so go back to him new page oh, oh I created too much sorry okay then the switch for that page brother and sister and mine Okay, switch, quest finish, quest finished is on, and then what he would say is, you Okay, so what that basically does is first you get the quest, then you go get the potion, and then when you come back to him, you save this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna to show you the example. Sound 
da. Okay, new game. Okay, so you just start here. You got to kill him. Hello, get potions for me from that chest. Then if you talk to him, he says get the potions. Okay, good. Then you go to the chest. It says you got the potions. Then once you go back to him, thank you, you saved my life. Okay, so that's basically it. And you can elaborate this, but that's what I basically learned from it. Then you can really elaborate it to make most complicated quests. The variable you're needed for longer quests, like first you get the potions, then talk to someone, and then come back. You'll need the variables for that. But I'll just. You'll understand that anyways one day with RPG Maker. It's quite simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, so thank you. Uh, goodbye. That was my first RPG Maker tutorial. Goodbye.